In a world where one has places to go, people to see, and money to make, I just want to find time to get all of it done. So my name is Ryan Vernon, and this is The Hustler for Show. And I hope y'all enjoy the episode today. Keep hustling, y'all. Keep hustling. Peace. Hola. So... I was looking back at my phone for videos for last week. Didn't record anything. Just to, just to, just to be honest with you, didn't record anything. With that being said, because I didn't record anything, I really got to thinking, what did I do last week? And it was really stressing with the idea that did I get anything done last week? So I had to, it literally had to take the time to just write out what did I do last week. And I started to write out things. And then it was funny because nothing tangible, 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 nothing tangible really got done last week. But then you go, how do you measure personal growth? Because with, it, with nothing done, nothing tangible getting done while writing out what happened last week, it was interesting because a lot of personal growth had happened. A lot of understanding of self, of self happened last week. And it was, it's, it's, it's interesting learning in a way how previous patterns relate back to previous experiences. But yet, when do you actually take the time to think on how you react in situations to pinpoint how you respond to different situations, basically. And so last week was a week of personal growth, even to the point where writing now, what did I do last week? It made me look back in the last 10 years of my life. So, so from 17 to 27, I was like, what did I accomplish? And I started writing out things. And it, it, was, it was just, it was, so first of all, even when I think about it, it's like, dang, 10 years ago, I was in high school. Five years ago, I was in college. And, and now we're here. And so much life happened, but even throughout that whole time, it's like, well, what, did, what did I accomplish? And so writing it out, it was like, wow, I've accomplished a lot. How do you measure personal growth? So even throughout that, so shout out to True Health Forever and their podcast with Devon Travell and the health nerd. And they were talking about morning routines. So don't get me wrong, the last couple of weeks I've been really off my morning routine, but this week has been steps towards getting back on top of my stuff. And, but something I have been doing every day is saying affirmations with the idea of, oh, I have a goal in mind, but at the moment, I don't see that goal being done for the next 20 years. Because if I want to see change, then it starts today by creating a change that I want to see. But that may not happen for the next 5, 10, 20 years. But looking back on 10 years of my life, I got the idea of, huh, what would life look like 10 years from now? And that was something a little hard working on because one, how can you predict the future? But then two, it really challenges me because it really makes me go, what do I want to see? What do I want to see 10 years from now? Yeah, I, I, how I see it, I'm still going to be the same person with the same, I feel like, great looking smile, you feel me? But then it's like, what else do I want to see?
So when I ask, how do you measure personal growth? I don't know. But it's funny because it just shows. It just shows. Keep hustling, y'all. Keep hustling.